Hello? Hello there, struggling cosplayer. May I introduce you to the wondrous world of patterns? No, thank you. That's too expensive. Well, what if I told you that you could actually get these patterns for a steal of $1.99, not $20.95, not $15.95, Black magic is this? It's not black magic if it's in the official Joan's catalog. Ow. So, would you like to sign up? Fine, sign me up, I want to learn. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Fall to Fall Show, where in this video, I am going to teach you how to hoard patterns like a pro. I mean shop patterns like a pro. <laughs> so normally when you go over to Joanne Fabrics, um, the patterns are gonna be on a general sale, usually of about 30% or so, so that's about a few dollars off of their normal retail price. But just like in that clip you saw earlier, you can indeed get them for a steal of $1.99 when they do go on sale. Except for Vogue. I don't know why, but Vogue only goes down to $5.99 when it's on sale. However, for these other brands such as Butterick, Simplicity, McCall's, as well as Cosplay by McCall's, these will all go on sale for $1.99 when you see them in the Joann's catalog. And so I'm going to show you how to do that today. So let's get started. Here in this recent Joann catalog, we can see that McCall's and Quicksews are on sale for $1.99 and the Folk Patterns for $5.99. And here in this past catalog, we can see they are all on different days, starting with Simplicity and Butterick, then to McCall's, and then finally to Fogue. So now we know when they are on sale, but how do I know what to buy? Let me show you how to approach this. First, you are going to drive over to the store and head over to the pattern section. Here you can see quite a variety of different patterns and different brands. You can even see the $1.99 sales stickers. Now go over to the pattern books and start browsing. Here I am browsing through a costume book. When you see a pattern that you have an interest in, make sure to take a picture of it with your phone and make sure that you can see the pattern number. I keep a folder dedicated to different patterns that I would like to add to my pattern arsenal in the future. Here you can see the different folders that I keep on my phone. I do this that way I know which patterns to buy depending on which brand is on sale that day. After I buy patterns, I like to take a picture of them and keep them in a folder of sewing patterns that I have already bought to make sure that I never accidentally buy the same pattern again. It's happened before. Now that you know which patterns you would like to buy, head over to the pattern filing cabinets. Open them up and look for the pattern by number. It may or may not be there depending on how the store keeps it in stock. Remember to check the pattern size to make sure that you buy the correct pattern that will fit your measurements. Pattern sizes and clothing sizes are not the same. You must know your bust, your waist, and your hip measurements. Try to avoid opening a cabinet and browsing through every single pattern as it can be quite tedious and time consuming. Oh wow, that's a lot of patterns. Are you really gonna waste your time looking through every single one? It's a lot to get through. There's books on the side you can look through. 
easier to find your pattern numbers that way. All right, guys, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and now you too know how to hoard patterns. Please hoard responsibly. Bye! <laughs> I can't laugh at the mustache. What? I guess that's where it stops. No, it's not. You're just giving me a funny face. You want me to redo it? Oh, my boxer show. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's do it again. I'll try to aim low. Meow? Meow? Do you want to be a son of tool? She also wants to learn about patterns. Watch it. Watch it for her. This is not part of the video. Yeah.